you're watching it. Christmas right here at Olympia, the London International Horse Show. Welcome to 101 Years of Tradition. We're in London, England today, and you're watching Show Jumping Unplugged TV. And my name's Paul Peterson, bringing you the best in sport every week. So stay tuned and sit back as we take in the best horse show in the world. in the barn area of the Olympia London International Horse Show and I seem to tackle Kelly. Kelly is the PR manager of the show and also one of the people responsible for bringing Show Jumping Unplugged here to London. Hi. Hi, how are you? So good to be here. Thank you so much for having us. It's amazing. No problem at all. And this is my first London Olympia so it's just as exciting for me. This week we've sold the highest number of tickets we ever have done in that period of time as well. Oh fantastic. So it's been really great. Well, listen, Kelly's amazing. Any press office that has candles out on the counter, <laughs> that's my kind of place. <laughs> so listen, um, give us a website for people who are more interested in finding out more about Olympia. Yeah, it's www.olympiahorseshow.com. And we've also got a great new exclusive um, internet uh, interactive site, which is part of the same site, but it's called Olympia. And if you go on there, you can see lots of video and audio and interview nice. content and pictures as well. So Nice. Fabulous. Okay, so stay tuned for more right here, right now on Show Jumping Unplugged Olympia. Hi. Hi, I'm Jenny, and this is Samson, the Shetland Pen Pony Grand National mascot. Nice. Hi, guys. We're taking a cab ride down to Buckingham Palace and Westminster Abbey. So uh, come along for the ride. This is David Luck. Buckingham Palace has been the home to the British monarchy since the 1820s. Its grand design sits at the center of the heart of London. And indeed, the entrance to the grounds of Buckingham Palace is Horse Guards Parade, where daily at 11 o'clock, the lifeguards and the Blues and Royals change the Queen's Guard. Horse Guards Parade is the traditional home of the British Army. Been there since the mid-17th century, it was from here that expeditionary forces were sent out around the globe, most notably under the command of the Duke of Wellington, whose famous victory at Waterloo in 1815 secured European peace for the best part of a century. Wellington Arch sits at the very centre of Hyde Park Corner and celebrates the Duke's famous victory at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. It is also directly opposite his main London residence, given to him by a grateful nation as a result of his victories. Apsley House is more accurately known as Number One London. The Houses of Parliament were built and designed in the early part of the 18th century, seat of both the British government, of the executive, and of also the higher chamber, the Lords. The most famous part of the Houses of Parliament is, of course, the Great Bell Tower, it's not actually the tower or the clock itself that is named Big Ben, but the large chiming bell which strikes the hour. Westminster Abbey is more rightly known as the nation's church. It houses the tombs of the great and the good for nearly a thousand years. Founded by Edward the Confessor, whose tomb it contains, every monarch was buried there up until the late 18th century. It also contains the graves and memorials of some of the great statesmen, poets, authors and writers of the 19th and 20th centuries. Last but not least, it also contains the grave of the unknown warrior. 
It's Tamara, and I wish they would have allowed us to film inside the Abbey, but I got the privilege of attending a service there and experiencing the cathedral as it was intended. A Christmas meditation, a precious hour filled with candles and spirit, my very favorite part of this Christmas in London. The Grand Hall at Olympia has been hosting horse shows for 101 years, the very first one taking place here in 1907. But the London International Horse Show, in its current guise, started some 38 years ago by the father of the current director, Raymond Brooks Ward. Raymond realised that a horse show in London just before Christmas was a potential money winner and crowd spinner, and he was absolutely right. It's a family show which is founded on great teamwork, and it's unique throughout the world. So stay tuned for more Show Jumping Unplugged. Thank you.